the 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 strengthening of Brazilian democracy, uh, in spite of uh, of the the the, the the, the many, many problems that Brazil faces, extraordinary inequality, the fact that it is a big, heterogeneous, diverse, uh, hard place to govern, the level of violence and criminality. Uh, Brazil, Brazilian political elites face a very difficult challenge. In spite of all those things, the last, the, the, the democratic institutionalization, the democratic strengthening of the last, um, I guess, roughly 30 years, has been pretty remarkable, uh, and by you know at, at, at least uh, by 2014 2015, Brazil had you know it wasn't Uruguay and Costa Rica, but it was one of the strongest democracies in Latin America, uh, and I think that the, so there is some strength, some robustness to Brazilian institutions. The Brazilian Congress is not as easy to push over as the Ecuadorian or Peruvian Congress. The Brazilian Supreme Court is not as easy to intimidate or to pack as, say, the Venezuelan Supreme Court was. Uh, that, there's a real difference there. And so I cannot predict that Brazilian democracy will survive. I cannot guarantee, any, I, can't, I cannot guarantee what I'm going to have for dinner tonight. But, um, but I think Brazilian institutions do stand a reasonable chance of surviving this crisis and surviving Bolsonaro. It's also worth saying, that Brazil has just faced an extraordinary series of crises. I mean, I I used to say in 2018 that Brazil, before Bolsonaro was elected, that Brazil was facing a perfect storm, Uh, a massive corruption scandal, a massive economic crisis, a terrible wave of violence. And then in addition to that, you get the election of an autocratic leader, a, a terrible global pandemic, and one of the world's worst responses to that pandemic. I mean, what Brazilians have had to suffer in the last six years is difficult to fathom. And so I also wouldn't be shocked if Brazilian democracy succumbed to that set of crises. I mean, it's it's a level of crisis that, frankly, few democracies have survived in history. But I'm still pretty hopeful. And I think there's a reasonable chance that Brazilian democracy will, will at, at the very least, muddle through this seemingly endless series of crises.